Kaya Sherell here. How you know if your pH of your mouth is acidic or not? So you can simply test the saliva pH of your mouth using pH strips. The more acidic you'll be in this area here and the more alkaline, the more neutral where you wanna be will be darker, okay? So if you have an acidic mouth, that means you may have a higher risk of getting cavities. Now, it can be different in one area of your mouth than others, but this will give you an overall view. And you can test it throughout the day, okay? You can test it after you eat certain things. You want to wait about 20, 30 minutes. So let's check and see what mine is right now. All right, so you just wet the strip. All right. So the pH in my mouth is, is pretty good right now, so that's good. Okay, so you can do that, you know, see how it is, especially for your kids. And if you notice you have, you develop a lot of cavities, maybe you should check and see what the pH of your saliva is. What can you do like after you eat? You can choose some gum, and it's recommended you use gum with xylitol, X-Y-L-I-T-O-L. That would help kill some of the bad bacteria that's, that can cause cavities and to just make your mouth less acidic. It's a natural sugar. It's a good sugar for the teeth and for the mouth. If a chewing gum is labeled sugar-free, you want to be careful with that because they can actually place artificial sweeteners in it. And that's no good either, especially if you like chewing gum often, okay? So that's it for now.